Has your wife's behavior become so toxic it's threatening your marriage? You vividly remember the day you said, I do, like it was yesterday. Her radiant smile, the profound love you felt as you gazed into her eyes, the overwhelming sense of joy knowing you'd get to wake up next to your soulmate every morning for the rest of your lives. Yet lately, merely being in the same room as your wife fills you with dread. Her constant put-downs, belittling name-calling, and cold shouldering have taken their toll. Where there was once infectious laughter and passion, now there is only bitter resentment, withering silence, and miserable tension. Toxic behavior from a once loving wife can shake even the strongest man to his core. You may find yourself questioning everything, your self-worth, your judgment, even your sanity at times as the verbal and emotional abuse persists with no end in sight. But please hear this, you are not alone, and you don't have to continue living in an unsafe, toxic environment. No matter how far your marriage has strayed into harmful territory, it's still possible to repair the foundation and bring the loving partnership you once knew back from the brink. If your wife's destructive actions are pushing you toward divorce, read on to learn 20 life-saving ways you can take back control and potentially save your marriage from further toxicity. 1. Stop avoiding the issues. The first step in dealing with a toxic spouse is to rip off the denial band-aid. Stop avoiding the major issues causing dysfunction by coping through distractions or unhealthy outlets. Escapism through vices like alcohol, workaholism, or emotionally checking out will only allow the toxicity to fester and spread. 2. Accept that you didn't cause her behavior. A common victim-blaming trap is to irrationally believe you must have caused your wife's abusive actions. Her issues stem from unresolved trauma, mental health challenges, or a deep lack of self-love, none of which are your fault. Recognize that her behavior belongs to her alone. 3. Set firm boundaries and stick to them. Boundaries are the foundation for emotional self-care in toxic relationships. Define non-negotiable behaviors you categorically won't accept from your wife anymore. Verbal abuse, infidelity, substance issues, violence slash aggression. Hold your ground firmly and lovingly when boundaries are violated. 4. Make space when escalations happen. When tempers flare and cruel outbursts start, make space by removing yourself from the environment calmly. Don't respond until the escalation passes and cooler heads can prevail. This also models appropriate boundaries and conflict management behavior. 5. Start individual counseling. Support and therapy from a neutral third party can be invaluable for your mental health as you navigate this challenging transition. A counselor can help you process emotions, identify relationship patterns, and determine a path forward for your marriage or independence. Six, gently suggest she seeks help too. Without attacking or blaming, Recommend to your wife that counseling could really benefit your relationship and her happiness. Make it clear you'll go to couples therapy too, and that you only want the best for both of you. The key is not making demands, only speaking your truth from care. 7. Reconnect with your social support system. Isolation is extremely common in toxic marriages due to the spouse cutting their partner off from family slash friends. Break the cycle by reconnecting with your inner circle. Allow them to pour positivity back into your life while gaining perspective on your situation. 8. Document toxic episodes. Safely start documenting verbal, emotional, or physical outbursts from your wife. This can help protect you legally if the situation ever escalates and can clearly illustrate the level of toxicity involved when confronted with denial or gaslighting. 9. Stay strong with self-care. Don't lose sight of your personal health and well-being while managing a toxic relationship dynamic. Sleep enough, eat healthy foods that nourish your body, exercise regularly, and lean into hobbies or outlets you find grounding and uplifting. Self-care will provide resilience. 10. Remain rational and resist deflecting. When faced with irrational accusations or outlandish outbursts, resist the urge to fight fire with fire. Staying centered will not only defuse heated arguments, but also prevent further escalation of the conflict dynamic. Kill her with composure. Eleven, look for the root causes. Often, 
Toxic behaviors are symptomatic of deeper underlying issues, past trauma, mental illness, addiction, deficient role modeling growing up, etc. While not an excuse, recognizing root causes helps manage triggers with compassion, though they don't justify abuse. 12. Focus on the positives you can control. When the negativity and contempt feel suffocating, shift your mindset to focus intently on the positives you can directly influence. Immerse yourself in activities or loved ones that still bring joy, as they'll provide the motivation to persevere through the darkness. 13. Be mindful of your language. Using affirmative, non-confrontational language can de-escalate toxic situations rapidly. For example, I feel. Statements share your experience while minimizing perceived accusations. Will you join me? Is an invitation, not an order or disrespectful demand. 14. Don't take responsibility for her emotions. Toxic spouses often rely on manipulation by provoking strong emotional reactions. Refuse to accept responsibility for her feelings. You cannot control her overblown anger or sadness, only respond with level-headedness. Walk away if needed. 15. Always prioritize safety for all. If alcoholism, drug abuse, violence, or threats are present, remove yourself and children if applicable from the toxic environment immediately. Not only for your physical security, but to prevent normalizing abusive behaviors. Safety comes first. Sixteen, face reality and the long-term effects. Realistically assess whether the status quo is sustainable long-term. Can you continue enduring the stress and dysfunction indefinitely? Consider what impact normalization of this toxicity will have on children or future family plans. Gut check your boundaries and follow through. Seventeen, write her a letter. When calm, raw emotions can convey difficult truths that words often fail to express. Pour your heart out to your wife through an uncensored letter. How her actions make you feel, what you need from the relationship to continue, the consequences you'll enforce if boundaries keep being violated. The process is cathartic and fosters accountability. 18. Suggest a trial separation. Has every effort to salvage the relationship reached its end? Consider suggesting a temporary separation, so you both can experience what permanent distance would mean. Commitment phobes often awaken when they truly lose someone. The clarity may be what saves things. 19. Have an exit strategy for divorce. Sadly, some toxic dynamics are beyond repair and require permanently walking away for both parties' well-being. Have a confidential exit strategy and support system in place for this contingency. Ensure finances are separated and decisions are made about housing, assets, etc. 20. Never give up hope. No matter how hopeless or poisonous things appear, never abandon optimism that you'll find happiness again, whether within your marriage or outside of it. You chose your path through strength and commitment, and you'll overcome this struggle through perseverance. Even the most damaged marriages have a chance at redemption. Going through a period of profound toxicity in your marriage can justifiably shake you to the core. Some days, it may feel easier to call it quits and escape the dysfunction than keep fighting for your vows. This internal conflict of not knowing whether to stay or leave can fill your heart with guilt, fear, and doubt. But there is always a light at the end of the tunnel for those steadfast and determined to course correct their relationships. Countless couples have found their way back from the brink of animosity to rebuild a loving, trusting union. However, both partners need to be fully invested in the process of healing long-term toxicity for things to improve sustainably. If your wife is steadfastly unwilling to change, support your boundaries, or acknowledge her hurtful contributions to the relationship decay, you may need to lovingly accept that your marriage has reached a point of no return for your own mental health, provided she's equally committed to listening with empathy, taking accountability, and prioritizing harmony over toxicity there is a path towards a flourishing marriage. It will require immense patience, intentional work, and often the objective perspective of a professional counselor to illuminate blind spots. But redemption can absolutely be found. At the end of the day, never forget your worth as a partner and human being. You don't deserve to live under a constant cloud of belittlement, cruelty, and negativity. 
With courage and perseverance, you'll emerge from this trial stronger, wiser, and genuinely happy again. Whether that means repairing a damaged marriage or turning the page to a new chapter in life, your spirit will never be broken by toxicity so long as you nurture the love you have for yourself.